Hello and welcome. Today I want to talk about uh, sort of a non-academic topic, but I think it could be useful for a lot of people. And that is how to create a course and publish it on one of the online uh, course marketplaces. I recently did that for Udemy and I published a course within five days. Uh, now, for most people, it takes them longer than that, but I will explain in a few moments how I was able to do this. But first, uh, my reason for doing this is obviously you already know that most of my uh, materials on post-colonial studies, literary studies, and even literary theory are freely available on my website as well as on this channel. But both my, my wife and I have been thinking about you know, maybe retiring in next five to six years. And we've always thought of, okay, how could we do that in a way that we are still active in the world and have a some means of income? So, you know, I have nothing else to sell except for my knowledge, which I don't want to commercialize altogether. So I decided to experiment with producing some courses and posting them on online platforms and see how it goes. And maybe it would become something that can sustain us through our retirement, <coughs> excuse me, if that happens. Okay. Now, first of all, why did I cho choose Udemy? There is another major course provider, teachable.com, which a lot of people recommend. And that's because of the difference between the way these two platforms work. Now, Teachable is very valued by a certain kind of people, people, of course, who, have, who can produce good content, but who are also aggressive in marketing because Teachable requires you to market your courses yourselves to your email list through social media. And I realized I am not that person. You know, I can't go around selling my knowledge. Udemy, on the other hand, uh, you know, would market the course for you. They'll post it on their website. They will generate links and all that. So you don't have to worry about marketing. Also, Udemy courses are not that expensive. And that's an important thing for me. I want, don't want people to spend a lot of money on online courses, whereas Teachable encourages you to price your courses really high. So, but both the platforms are great for me, not being an aggressive marketer or seller of goods and wares, Udemy was the ideal choice. And uh, and their platform is very user friendly and they have a huge support mechanism to support you. And then it was a question of, you know, deciding on the course topic. So, you know, how far can you go if you're a literary scholar? So I did some research on Udemy platform and realized that there is no course on literary theory. I mean, absolutely not a single course, especially beginner's literary theory. So I decided, you know, I was going to create a course on literary theory. I have a certain degree of expertise on it. I've taught it. And so I decided on that. And then I kind of made an outline. What would I include? So since it's a course on literary theory, it has to have an introductory lecture and then different schools of literary theory and supplementary materials like handouts, quizzes. I kind of plotted that. And then before doing anything, I read the Udemy guidelines. I'll post a link to that there, but they make it very clear as to what would it take for them to approve your course because the courses go through a review process. So one of the main things is that they want at least 30 minutes of video content. And that's the exclusive video content which should not be posted elsewhere, right? And then they want you to describe the course and have some activities, but video content 30 minutes of it is absolutely necessary. And then within that con content, they require a certain degree of quality, right? They want quality HD videos, 720 and above, and they want stereo sound, and they also want professional quality videos. These are all some of the technical and, uh, and other requirements to get approval. So keeping all the requirements from their point of view, how to describe the case course to how to record it. Then I started recording my videos. 
Now, I must explain here for this video and all the other videos on YouTube, uh, the gear that I use is mentioned in the video descriptions. But here is what I use. Uh, I use a Logitech camera, which sits on top of my computer. I use a Yeti, Blue Yeti mic, and just a $25 uh, ring light. These are the three gadgets and my computer that I use to record my videos. But I have, for the longest time, not had an editing software, and I'm not good at it. But a few weeks ago, um, through one of the videos produced by Nick Nimmin, he's a big name in YouTube guidance, right? You should follow him, Nick Nimmin, right? He has a whole channel with, I don't even know, 60,000 followers. He suggested an app, an iPhone app that he thought was absolutely the best to edit videos, and it's called Video Leap. And by the way, Nick Nimmin and Video Leap are not paying me to use their names. I'm just uh, impressed by Nick Nimmin's work and, of course, by Video Leap. So, um, so I downloaded the app and I decided to buy the pro version, which was about $70. And I think that's one of the best decisions I ma made because I can record on my computer and then move the folder to my phone quite easily. And then that video editing software allows me to do everything, to cut the clips, to add text, to add additional materials to the video, so many different things. So I used the Logitech camera, the Yeti mic, this light ring, my iMac computer, and Video Leap to produce these videos and to make sure that they are of professional quality. Now, the Udemy approval process is after you have met their basic requirements of lectures and videos and times, you click in the panel, you know, and submit your video for review. So by my fourth day, I had enough content, but I had not fully finished the course. They would allow you to submit a course and approve it and then give you time as people register to add more content to the course. That's their model. So I think on my fourth day, I submitted my content. And on the fifth day, I got a notification from them which said that there are these few minor changes that we would like you to make. They had approved my videos. The audio quality was good. That's the aspect I was most worried about because I had never produced videos for professional websites, right? But that went through smoothly with this gear that I mentioned. So I just made those two corrections and submitted my revised version. And within the next 40 minutes or so on the fifth day, after I had planned the course, they published my course. And, you know, that was all the process. Now, I, I know I'm making it sound simple, but I spent four, you know, full evenings on recording the videos. And I had to record my videos uh, fresh because I couldn't use the ones listed on YouTube, right? Because they are in the public domain, they're freely available. but. That's all it took. And then I also joined the Udemy community on the phone. I have their app where a lot of good people gave me some good suggestions. And that helped me improve the videos. But overall, that has been my experience. So to sum up, the reason I'm doing it so that <laughs> we can eventually retire and use our knowledge to at least earn a living in the world. Uh, but also to make my courses available to a broader, broader audience in the world. I mean, Udemy has 50 million users at a very affordable rate. And these are materials other than what is already freely available on this channel on YouTube. And I highly recommend Udemy if you have some knowledge that you would like to share and build into a course. And if you have time, right, do go to their website sign in and you will find ample materials and support in developing your cake your course now if you are uh, you know a, a person who can market their products you know well and you know is salesperson type then i would heavily recommend teachable but do also keep in mind that there is no cost to you in producing and publishing a course with udemy 
your revenues wouldn't be as high as Teachable. But for Teachable to have a viable course there, you have to buy a monthly plan or a professional plan. But keep that in mind. Both are good platforms. I think for me, given my temperament and my priorities, Udemy works well for me. So that is all I have to say about this new experience in my life. I hope this was of some use to you. And if you would like me to cover some more on this topic or produce another uh, lecture around this area, do feel free to let me know in the comment section. And please do subscribe to this channel and pass it on if you like the content. And as always, you know, Peace and love.